Hey guys, welcome back to Gear Junkies TV and a new video. Today uh, we're going to take a look at the uh, Boss DR110, but uh, this is a special one. We um, had this circuit bandit uh, already some years ago and it uh, was um, stuck at a friend's house for a long time. Anyway, uh, we got it back here and um, today yeah, we just want to show you how these circuit band controls uh, work and what they do to the sound. So um, first a little bit about the DR110. Um, it's an analog drum machine with a digital controlled uh, drum sequencer built in. Um, as you all know, uh, BOSS is a subsidiary of Roland. Um, that's why the sounds are very similar to uh, another famous drum machine by Roland, which is the TR606. Um, but it, uh, there's a slightly different feature set. First of all, there are six uh, drums. Bass drum, snare, open hi-hat, closed hi-hat, cymbal, and clap. And there are eight banks of eight patterns that you can uh, use to play it, of which the first two, A and B, are uh, programmable. Um, that's about it. It has an accent trigger out. It runs on uh, batteries or on a uh, 9 volt uh, standard boss adapter. And with these controls, you can, uh, besides influence the tempo, there's a balance between the high and the low, and how loud the accents will be played when you program those. So, what does this box do? Well, um, these knobs, they modify all the analog drum sounds that are in here. And in a minute, I will uh, show you um, one by one what they do. And on the back, there's also a DIN sync input. Normally the DR110 doesn't have any synchronization at all. So very conveniently uh, the guys at CircuitBand um, built in this DIN sync uh, controller as well. But um, as the standard DR110 operates as um, a different uh, uh, PPM as opposed to the standard DIN sync, it would uh, sound double as fast. So they build in a circuit as well to compensate for that. Um, so at the end of this demo, we will show you uh, how this works with an external uh, machine that provides DIN sync to the Dr. Rhythm. So let's uh, look at the different sounds here. Um, let's start with the bass drum. The standard bass drum is, uh, sounds a bit like this, and they have built in uh, a pitch knob and a decay knob, and there's an envelope switch, which is um, a little bit hard to, to recognize. But anyway, I will um, start with um, writing a little bass drum pattern that goes like this, um, just on the one, on the uh, five, the 9 and the 13 and that sounds uh, oh wait a second I made a slight mistake here which is a little bit annoying on this machine to correct yep here we go press pattern play so we have a bass drum playing so let's move up the pitch to see how that sounds So the further to the right, the lower the pitch gets. And we can combine this with this decay control. As you can hear, it gets quite dirty at the end. And with this switch, you can uh, slightly change the decay, which causes uh, some pitch effect as well, as you can hear now. So 
So this is a bit longer, this is a bit shorter. And let's leave it at that for now. I will just um, clear the pattern before we move to the next uh, uh, parameter, which is the snare drum. And I'll program a pattern here. And let's play it. So this also has a pitch, as you can hear by when I turn it. And there's a noise decay knob, which operates, yeah, it's hard to hear. And the last part is intense. And this is the snappy um, noise level knob. So with that, you can't hear much of the, of the noise decay, of course. So let's turn this open. Now we can probably hear more of this one. Uh, well, as you can hear, the, only the last part is very intense. Let's leave it at that. Okay, I will uh, switch to the next sound. And let's look at the open hi-hat. Uh, I'll just program that here. Okay, let's play it. Okay. There should be an open head decay knob. As they are not labeled, I have to look for which one it is. Uh, okay, this is pitch. Ah, okay, this seems to be the decay knob. And it's, it's uh, more or less connected to the closed hi-hat because they, they, these partly come from the same sound source. So I'll just program that alongside. Uh, let's see, closed hi-hat, let's do it like this. Okay, let's see what we got. And let's turn some knobs and see what they do. seems to be for another control. So these are the hi-hat controls. This is a filter. And this is the pitch. And the decay in the middle. Well, very nice. Let's check out the symbol. Um, I'll just uh, reset the pattern and program the symbol here. Let's play. This is a DK knob as well. And the other one is a combined pitch and filter, as you can hear. Okay. And uh, finally, we'll take a look at the clap. I will uh, reset the pattern again and uh, program the clap. Let's do it like this. And play. So the clap also has a decay knob. I'm gambling that's this one, yes.
Then there's a pitch. And a filter. Um, when they are all played together, uh, they sort of interact with each other. I've um, programmed a pattern here already that contains all the sounds and I'll we'll play this and at the meantime we can listen to what the interactions of the knobs do when you, uh, when you turn them. So let's take a look. It seems that uh, some of the sounds have disappeared. I will just program them alongside. Uh, let's do the bass drum first. Uh, set it at these. Okay, like this. And let's check out the snare drum. That's already there, but I'll add another one. Uh, open and closed hi-hat hi are also here, but I'll add some more. And the symbol, let's do something with that as well. Um, and finally, the clap. Let's see, maybe here. Oh, let's check out the symbol that's only there for a few steps, I think. Uh, let's see what we got. Maybe we can add some accents to see what they do. Um, let's see, accent um, on the one, five, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Let's see. So for the final uh, demo, I've added uh, an Avalon uh, bass line here. I uh, did that because first the sound corresponds very well with the classic sound of the DR110. And the Avalon has DIN sync out, which we connected to the DIN sync in of the DR110. So uh, when I press play on the Avalon, the Dr. Rhythm will play. I'll just add in the sounds of the hour on and do a little demo.
Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little video of the DR110. If you want to know more about circuit bending, uh, we've included the link to the circuit bender's website below. We're not sure he still does these, but you can always ask. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to all our videos if you want to see them in the future. See you next time.